Oh, also, it did come with a pair of Michael Jackson gloves, so you can keep your hands clean while assembling it all together. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Avionics back with another YouTube video. Now in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new office slash gaming chair. We're gonna be unboxing it and assembling it. But um, once again, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few videos throughout the month. So uh, this is a magic ergonomic chair made by Neutral. And along with it is the uh, detachable laptop table, which I have never seen for a office or gaming chair before. So we're gonna check all this out. So a little bit of information about Neutral, the company, that they are focused on creating a brand for individuals who spend long hours sitting doing office work, from uh, whether it's from work or at home, or uh, people who play video games like myself a lot, or individuals with lower back concerns. They apparently have a patented intelligent auto follow lumbar support that provides smart support for the lower back and spine. And I do actually have mild arthritis in my lower spine, so we're definitely gonna be taking advantage of this chair and what it has to offer besides ergonomic posture adjustments. For more detailed information about this, please visit the website located down below in the video description. So this neutral Magic H ergonomic office chair with auto following lumbar support is currently at a price of $300 and use my promo code to get a discount of 10% off. So Neutral did reach out to me to uh, do a review about this product. So I did receive this product for free, but I'm gonna give you my honest review about everything. So this chair is fully adjustable to meet personalized sitting needs, including seat depth adjustment, seat height adjustment, headrest height, and vertical swing adjustment, and adjustable armrests. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start opening it up and taking a look at everything that's inside. And then from there, we'll go ahead and start assembling. All right, so here is the user manual for the ergonomic chair. And then this is the seat back. So it is a mesh, mesh type. And here's the back of the seat back. So there are a total of five legs and five wheels all metal as you can tell by the sound of them clanking together and then five of these caster wheels and then this is the mechanical assembly underneath the base heavy duty all metal weighs like probably like eight pounds and then here's a nice look at the lever the levers i should say look nice and sturdy not like cheap plastic here is part of the base for the five legs. It is a, like a two piece here. And then here is the hydraulic piston for the base, attaching the legs to the base mechanism assembly piece. And then here is the right armrest. And then here's the left armrest. Here is the seat base or the seat where you plant your butt and it's a nice, nice fabric. This, this thing is well constructed. We have a neutral branding label right there. And then the underside, this is the footrest. So it actually pulls out pretty easily. That's what she said. And there is a knob here for adjusting. So um, yeah, this thing looks pretty, pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that back in. And then here is the backrest back assembly, which attaches the, um, the base or your, where you plant your butt to uh, the backrest. And we do have some of that neutral orange color offset to it. And then here's where you insert the screw. And then actually if you take a close look, can't tell by the light, here we go. You see a plus and a minus sign so you can adjust it, plus or minus. And it's probably for the lumbar support. We'll find out more here in a little bit. This right here is a silicone cover attachments that you would put um, when assembling the backrest back assembly. And then here's all the hardware and tools you would need along with it. Now, and uh, so it comes with hex Allen wrenches, one here and then one in here. Now taking a closer look at this, looks like I'm missing some hardware. So 
So if you take a close look, I'm missing something right here, oh, right, right here, here, and then one right here. So we'll see if we're needing those we'll, or we'll see if we're gonna end up missing some screws later. But um, as far as letter designation, there's no letter there, so might not, but definitely there is one missing from here in this little box. Uh, actually, this says spare screws. My bad, my bad, yeah, so these are spare screws. So hopefully we're not missing any hardware. And then here is the short and sweet manual for the, uh, or instructions for the detachable laptop table that you attach to the armrests. So here's a closer look at that. And it actually, you can angle this. And then here's where you will put your, the mouse, your smartphone, and you can probably put some cords in there if it'll fit. Here's the back side of it. And then this piece is you would attach this basically right under here to be able to uh, basically fit it on the other armrest. It already has one built in right here. So then this is for the other, the other side. So we've already assembled that part. It's just basically once the seat is all assembled, we'll just slide this onto the armrests. Oh, also it did come with a pair of Michael Jackson gloves so you can keep your hands clean while assembling it all together. <laughs> all right, so at this point, it's time for me to install the uh, backrest assembly. But so far it has taken me 21 minutes up to this point. And um, one thing I wanna point out is on this backrest, before I install it, it, t it says, you can see this here, right here. It says, if you are under this top one, if you are under 155 centimeters or oh, under five foot, five inches, you wanna install the screw in this top position. If you are uh, anywhere from 166 to 178 centimeters or five feet, 5.1 inches to five feet and 10 inches, you wanna screw it in using the uh, center position. And then the lower position is for people who are taller, who are above 179 centimeters or above five foot, 10.1 inches. You can see there. So I am five foot eight and a half. So I'm gonna be right there in the middle. Also for a point of reference, I am 160 pounds and for weight limitations of this chair, please visit the website to see that specification. And I think I did forget to show this on camera earlier, um, showing all the parts, but this screw knob is what you screw the backrest into here, like so. So once again, I'm five foot eight, so I'm gonna install it in the, the middle bolt position. And it's really easy to um, change out if you, uh, you know, if someone else will be using this chair, just unscrew it right through here in the middle. Really easy to access. That way you can just in and out, easy peasy, Japanesey lemon squeezy. And there we go. So that what, that's been an extra minute of me actually um, on top of 21 minutes or 22 minutes. But there is a knob down here for the, um, I believe this is the lumbar support. So back here, I wanna show you before I put on the headrest is here's the lumbar support. You can see that right here, it goes across. And then you could actually raise it up like that or these two little sliders or lower it. So I'm gonna just put it right there in the middle like like that and then let me tighten this not that okay and i think woo, oh <laughs> so so this knob right here just unleashed that so here's that auto adjusting lumbar support right there so um lefty lucy actually I left turning it to the left locked it turning it to the right unleashes it and then you can it is adjustable. Is it adjustable? Okay, yeah. So here's fully engaged or out. Okay, locked one. Lock two or position two. And as you can see, it 
the more you you can lock it into place in different positions. Let's see if I can easily reach that. Where's that? Oh, okay, yeah, so I can easily reach it with my hand. So locked. There you go. So if you want, you can just leave it like this. That way it auto adjusts to your back, which is quite nice. All right, so these silicone attachments, depending on how you have this installed, whether it's the top center or the bottom position, this is to cover that up if you'd like. But um, so, you know, if you have it all the way down in the bottom position, you would use this to cover up the other holes and so on and so forth. I'm actually not gonna go, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna leave it like so, cause um, I don't know, maybe I'll have some friends over who, who wanna play and they're a little bit shorter than me or a little bit taller than me and I wanna easily just unscrew the, the knob here and then just move it into place. All right, so I'm about to attach the headrest assembly, but I wanted to show you one thing where you see this little silver ball and actually it's like a little detent. So it's for adjusting um, the height of the headrest here and headrest adjusts, it tilts up and down. But if you take a close look here, you see where those, where the ball can indent in different heights to adjust that. So let's go ahead and slide this in there. Let's see, it is a little bit hard to get down initially. There we go. All right, so, okay, so once you get it in there initially, it's by pulling or pushing down, you can slide it to all the different detents. So let's go ahead and adjust that to my head height adjustment. All right. Well, it's about, well, maybe a little bit higher. Like that, or if we want this curvy part right in the nook of my neck like so there you go all right so this neutral magic h ergonomic chair is fully assembled now here is a uh, nice look of it with someone of my height and weight once again i'm five foot eight and a half inches tall 160 pounds and this is how i look uh, in the seat and as you can see on and if uh, i guess for waist reference i am a uh, 33 or 34 so you can see how much width is in between me so for larger people who want a point of reference that's how much width is for someone of my size and here's a closer look at the chair without me in it and spin it around for you guys and so the armrests they do adjust like that as far as swinging but yes this is the neutral magic h ergonomic chair with auto um, auto adjusting lumbar support if you have it unlocked so it'll just go back and forth and once again the headrest does swing and then the footrest let's check it out here just back into position so I'm just gonna slide this out swing that up there we go now it does feel a little I mean it, by, just by touching it, it feels stable, but it wants to like, I guess bring the whole base down a little bit. But I mean, it's not like it's loose. The whole thing just moves with it. But um, yeah, slides in and out. Once again, fold that up by twisting the knob, push it back into place. Pull that out again. So it comes out pretty easy the way it just comes out. Here's a little side view of it. And then we have our levers here, up or down. And we go all the way up, nice and smooth, no unnecessary noise, all the way down. It's not really much of a height difference. So if you take a look at my leg, and then actually here. So this is all the way up, all the way down. So it feels like maybe a four to five inch height difference and then it does say push in to lock and then outwards for free free what oh okay for the free tilting free backward climbing so 
so you can lock it into place by sliding it in. All right, all the way back. Oh, quite easy to use, okay? So here we go, foot rest, all the way reclined, or if you wanted to just like kind of have it freely. And the way it locks, you can hear it click. So yeah. So I guess you do want to lock it into place. Pretty easy to use. Also, this lever right here is for adjusting your seat depth forward and back. So with the seat all the way up, which it already is, pull up on this lever and then slide the base or the, you know, the, where you plant your butt uh, back or forth like so. So there's forward, pull it up all the way back. Once again, all the way forward and all the way back. And then this one right here is for the um, backward tilt strength adjustment. There is a plus or minus. Basically, you can adjust the back tilt strength according to the direction plus or minus. Plus sign means it will require more leaning force and the minus sign means it will require less leaning force. Once again, this is the lumbar support strength adjustment. Either turn it to the left or turn it to the right to adjust the strength. And then to lower or raise the height of your armrest, this little lip lever right here, pull up and it'll go all the way down like that or all the way up like that. Once again, it does swing. All right, so here is the detachable laptop table accessory uh, made by Neutral also, which is sold separately. So with the, um, this piece already installed as we did earlier, we're gonna go ahead and just slide the armrests right into those slots. Like so. All right, so I'm gonna have to adjust the, uh, the reclining on this because my belly is right up against the edge of that. So once again, free and probably just lock it in like that. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. And then of course I have the lumbar free. All right, so this part, it does fold up so you can angle your laptop. And then it has this piece that hinges down and there are several, uh, about five different locations to have different angles. So here's one angle, two, three, four, and five. And then all the way flat. All right, so here is my laptop and my mouse um, sitting on top of the, the attachment. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, not that, I wanna slide the armrest a little bit forward so I have more space in between the edge of the attachment and my belly. So this is a little bit more relaxed as I have my hand on um, the keyboard in gaming position and um, you know my mouse over here on the mouse pad. Now my phone, Samsung Fold 4, is not compatible in this little phone slot. I'm sure if you had any other phone other than the um, Samsung Fold, it should be able to fit in there. And then you do have a cup holder. There's no bottom, it's just a hole. So um, whatever drink has to not go all the way through, has to fall out. So like a 7-Eleven cup, would sit in there and it would just sit there completely without having to fall through. All right, so there you have it, folks. This is once again, the Neutral Magic H Ergonomic Chair. Check out the website down below in the video description for more specific details. It is $400, but you know, feeling the construction and the fabric and just the, the metal pieces being used in the fabric, this is really a nice looking constructed chair from, from headrest all the way down to the uh, caster wheels everything all the hardware and screws you can you can't even see because everything's underneath and everything has a nice modern look to it uh, really big fan of the mesh backing because you know when you're extremely gaming like I do playing Call of Duty you do get some sweaty back and sweaty sweaty hands going on so yeah that's gonna help cool me down and you know you can, I can get really comfortable in this chair but yeah overall a great looking chair whether you're using it for office or for gaming or for whatever have you and you know with someone like me with mild arthritis in my lower spine we'll check out how this feels um, I think after about a month or two I will give it 
a uh, like a 30 day or 60 day review of how it's going along with this uh, with this magic ergonomic chair. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, leave any and all comments down below, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.